Hello, my name is Abe, and this video is all about the resourceful rat boss fight in Advanced Gungeons and Dragons. It's a difficult fight, especially during the punch-out phase, but I've learned a great many tricks in my hundreds of runs, and I thought I would share them with you. The first phase of the rat fight is tough, especially on turbo mode. Shots come out extremely quickly, and you will likely not have enough time to properly dodge every shot. But for most attacks, you can mitigate the risk to some extent with careful planning and quick dodging. The rat always starts the fight with the same move. He stands in the center of the room and summons cheese bullets from the walls. The best way to dodge these bullets is in an hourglass dodging pattern. Dodge diagonal out, walk in, and repeat three times. The rat will then cut the cheese and spread it quickly around the entire room. This particular attack is extremely difficult to dodge because the positions of the bullets are partly random and the attack is extremely quick. Your best bet is to stay in close to the rat and dodge inwards right as the shots come out. This double bullet wave attack from the rat can be tough to dodge through. You can make it if you dodge near perfectly inwards as the attack comes out, but there is a trick to this one. The attack is always the same. It starts and ends at the bottom. So what you can do is just stand down right of the rat and walk left. The bullet whip attack, on the other hand, is a bit more difficult. The rat will spin this attack two or three times before the whip breaks. Just play jump rope and dodge a few times as it comes in. Be careful, because the attack can come out quickly and hit you before you are ready for the first dodge. Never stand below and to the left of the rat if you can help it, because this is where the bullet whip attack comes out. It always starts from the same direction, so just don't stand there and you won't get hit by it. The rat can also quickly throw out some kunai when he ends the whip attack, and in fact the rat can fire off these knives after many of his attacks, so always be on the lookout for the red laser lines. Speaking of, the rat has an attack where he fires off many kunai in your direction. The spread of this attack depends on your position. Stand close and the spread is large. Stand at a distance and the spread is very tight. Ideally, don't stand too close to the rat, and as long as you're moving around in a circle, you can dodge right as they are thrown and you should have enough distance to avoid getting hit. While you can try and stand between the lasers to avoid the shots, I prefer trying to dodge out of the way. The only other attacks to mention are poison on the ground and mousetraps. The mousetraps can be destroyed with a blank, either when they are being thrown or while they are on the ground. Phase 2 of the rat fight is a big old mech. This is a much more pattern-oriented boss fight, where once you learn a solution to an attack, you can dodge it almost every time. But these attacks are often more difficult than those found in the first phase. The most visually impressive and complex attack is when the boss fills the screen with bullets that rotate in two different directions. This is a pretty tough attack to get through, but there are a couple of ways that I like to do it. The first is to just start in the large safe zone near the boss. Dodge down into a circle that moves into position, and begin a series of dodges back and forth between the inner and the outer rings. Repeat until the bullets dissipate. The second dodging pattern that I like to use is to get inside of a circle and dodge to adjacent circles within the same ring. You can cover enough distance with your dodges, and as long as you dodge before the circle collapses around you, you should be fine. Another way you can avoid this attack is by just staying within one circle and just dodging when it starts to collapse. With proper positioning, direction, and timing, you can avoid getting hit, and you can just walk around the arena for as long as you can. There are two different laser beam attacks. One is a single laser that sweeps across the arena and will hurt on contact. Just dodge through it. The second is a four laser attack that lights the ground on fire and shoots bullets at you. These lasers do not hurt you on contact. The only damage you can take is from bullets or from the fire. The rat attack that fires a targeting lock on you is particularly difficult to dodge. It's as fast as you are, homes in, and rotates, and it's difficult to accurately describe my usual dodging pattern for this attack. The best way I've found to handle it is by running around the projectile in a counterclockwise movement and dodge when you're about to get hit by one of the spokes. Theoretically, you could try dodging through the crosshair, 
or try to move perpendicular away from it at all times. But as I said earlier, I found a solution that works for me, so it's what I use every time. The missiles are one of the more difficult attacks to dodge because it's more random than the other attacks. Blanks or active items are good to use here, but if you have none, you can try to just move around the edges of the arena so that the missiles impact the walls but you're walking away from them as they explode. You can find the gaps between the bullets much easier this way. When the mech jumps into the air, you know that three bullet waves are about to come at you. Don't dodge towards the boss, and don't dodge away from the boss. You need to dodge along the bullet circles. While standing in front of the boss, simple left-right dodging is all you need to do to avoid this attack. Finally, with enough firepower, you can destroy two different components attached to the mech. On the back left, there is a cannon, and destroying this will stop the boss from using the targeting lock attack. On the back right, there is a drum, and destroying this will stop the boss from using the many missiles attack. If I can only focus on one, it would be the drum firing the missiles, since the other attack I can usually dodge through. Destroy the mech, and you have to finish off the rat in an epic punch out. The game gives you many control options, but the only keys you will need to know are block, W, duck, S, and your left-right punches, which are the left-right mouse buttons, or whatever it is for the controllers. This fight takes three phases, and the rat will have different attacks in each phase. You can't just punch the rat whenever you want. Most of your attacks the rat will block against, but you can attack the rat using his vulnerability frames to stun him and punch him hard. During the fight, the rat will blink during specific attacks, and if you punch with perfect timing, the rat will be stunned and you will build up a supercharge. During the first phase, the rat has three moves. An uppercut that you can block, a punch that you can block, and a taunt, during which the rat leaves himself vulnerable. During the punch and the taunt, the rat will blink with vulnerability frames. These are your big openings. Hit him during the blink to stun him. For this first phase, my general strategy is to just block everything and just wait for the rat to do a taunt for that easy vulnerability punch. For the second phase, the rat changes up his moveset. You've got a tail whip attack, which you can block. Three punches and an uppercut, which you can block the first couple of attacks from, then counterattack during the blink. And the rat has one attack where he will move backwards and lunge forwards into you. It's actually very difficult to get the vulnerability hit here, so you might just want to instead duck with S, you actually can't block this attack like you do with the others, you have to duck instead. The rat can also eat a piece of cheese to heal himself. You can knock the cheese out of his hand with a perfectly timed punch. There is no flash that signifies a vulnerability, but there is one nonetheless. The third phase of the rat fight introduces a few new final attacks. When the rat backs into the corners and throws boxes at you, just duck or punch the box to knock it back at the rat. When the rat opens his mouth and pulls back to charge an attack, he will do a tail whip combo attack that you can block through repeatedly. But if you attack at just the right moment, you can hit the rat during a vulnerability and stun him. The rat will pull out some brass knuckles and twirl his arm a few times before punching you. You can't block or duck or sidestep this attack. The only way to counter it is to get the vulnerability hit and stun him. You just have to know that the vulnerability is always when his hand is in the air for the third time. One, two, three. Finally, if you manage to succeed and kill the rat, you get access to his treasure trove and his life story. But in order to open everything, you will need six special rat keys. You get one for starting the rat punch out fight, and you get one for winning you get up to three bonus keys for finishing each round of the fight with a super punch, which also causes the rat to get knocked down and take a swing at you when he gets back up. The sixth and final key is awarded if you have managed to finish each round of the fight with a three star super punch. Let's put it all together with a look at a full rat fight. I don't do the hourglass shaped dodge, even though I really should be doing it here. I also stand too far away from the rat, but at least I dodge quickly to avoid the kunai that come immediately afterwards. 
This attack from the rat is quite easy to dodge, but then I stand in the worst place, down and left of the rat. The kunai come out quickly, but I do my best to try to dodge just before they are thrown so I can get enough distance and enough iframes to avoid the damage. Again, I'm not standing where I should be, don't stand down left of the rat. I'm also not doing the hourglass shaped dodges, but it doesn't matter too much. And again, I'm standing too far away from the rat to dodge the cheese wheel properly, but at least I do dodge the quick kunai that come out after that. I take a little bit of damage on this kunai attack because of a panic dodge roll, but a few hits of damage on the first phase of the rat is not the end of the world. The mech starts with the giant bullet circle attack, and I start a series of down left up right dodges while firing my shotgun whenever I have the opportunity. After a few iterations, the bullets dissipate, and the rat gives a little kick to the mage who is helping him out. When the mech jumps into the air, you know that it's going to be the three bullet circle attack. I don't do a simple left-right dodge, but just dodging up against the back wall fulfills the same purpose. I did blank the missile attack, because honestly I think it is one of the more difficult attacks to dodge, and I'm starting to focus fire on that drum at the back right of the mech, because I don't want to deal with that missile attack forever. Another jump into the air, so it's another triple bullet circle, and I'll follow that up with another missile attack, which I use my second blank to cancel out. But my shooting has paid off, and we do manage to break that drum at the back right of the mech, meaning that he can now no longer fire off his missiles, so I should be able to dodge everything else that he can throw at me. Avoid the targeting icon by moving counterclockwise around it, dodging when I feel it is necessary, dodge through the laser, and then start killing these rats that spawn. You really don't want too many of them to appear when the rat is doing another attack, but luckily he just decided to do the four laser beam attack, which is not that difficult to avoid. Another targeting lock, counterclockwise, dodging when necessary. Another laser beam, dodge that. Jumps up into the air, triple bullet wave again, not a problem. And this rat is toast. Punch out time. Hit him as hard as we can and then block everything, waiting for him to taunt. I do mess up the timing on the taunt attack, but that's okay. There's plenty of time to build up to the three star punch. I continue to block everything else that the rat throws at me because the timing on the vulnerability when the rat punches is just too precise and too quick. I used to try to go for it so I could get to the second and third phases faster for practice, but now I just only hit him during the taunt to build up that three-star punch. It may seem like it's not coming, but don't worry, he will taunt. Just give him a moment. Build up that three-star charge, hit him with it to knock him out, block or duck the KC swing that comes out, and we enter the second phase. It is dangerous to try to counter the attack when the rat moves to the back of the mech and flings himself forward. If you're not comfortable with it, just duck it instead. I do go for the same thing here, and I do miss the timing, but luckily I hit him early as opposed to late, so it still canceled the rat's attack and I didn't get hit in the process. A couple of easy counters, including one when he's trying to eat the cheese, and we have our three-star knockout ready. He opens with the simplest attack, which is three punches. The rat goes for the attack off the back of the mech again, which I counter, and I do it again, which gives me an easy three-star knockout on the third phase, and the rat is dead. We didn't even see all of his attacks. And that's it, my advice and tricks for the whole of the rat fight. It might not be perfect, but it's good enough. And if you liked what you saw, please check out my series on YouTube, streams on Twitch, follow, subscribe, all that jazz. And if you want to help, please donate on Patreon so I can continue to make more content. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.